you could lie Lying only buys you so much time You could hurt But hurting's never gonna make it fine You could shake and Try and shake it off all you can Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be making a three-tiered Dollar Tree tray for you and I'm also gonna be doing a ton of decorating only with Dollar Tree items. Everything in this whole tray that I decorate is gonna be Dollar Tree. So hopefully it's items you can still find. All this is pretty recent. We're gonna wing it today, like always, but we're seriously just gonna wing the decorating part of it. The tray I've actually been working on for a few days now as far as spray painting it and doing all that kind of stuff because if you can't tell, my eyes are so puffy. I have, I don't know what it is. It's definitely Michigan weather, but like my allergies are acting up and I've never even had allergies, but my eyes are like puffy, I'm miserable, so I thought that I would just try to take this thing one day at a time and see where it goes um, So luckily I did a couple videos prior to this that I was able to post for this week, which you're already gonna see them all So I'm just gonna jump right into it I'm gonna um, collect some stuff that I've already bought from the Dollar Tree and then we're gonna see if any of that stuff works And we're just gonna um, see how cute this looks. So I'm gonna start gluing it together Okay to get started you're gonna need to buy two candlesticks not three and then I also bought these stovetop covers and you're only gonna need one package and not two I overbought so much and then you're also gonna need this little candle plate all right so it was such a nice day so I just went outside and started spray painting and I just used an ivory slash cream color nothing too fancy and then I started spray painting the tops and then the next day or later that day I came out and then I just painted the bottoms of everything. Well, actually, these are going to be the tops of the tray, so the top part of it, and yes, I spray painted a couple extra because I thought I was going to use more than what I don't even know what I was doing. All right, and now I'm just gluing the candlestick to the bottom part of the tray. I'm using A6000, and this actually really worked. I actually waited for it to dry, and once it does dry, it does stay forever. And then now I'm just wiping the excess glue away and trying to make sure it's centered as best as possible because I'm not measuring edge to edge. <laughs> and then now I'm just gonna glue the middle part of the tear tray onto the top, or if you wanna call them stove tops, Cover, stove top covers, chicken things I sprayed. We'll call them whatever you want. But anyway, so I'm just, yeah, I'm just gluing everything together. And then now I'm going the second candlestick. And then I am just going to glue the candle plate or whatever it's called. I don't know. See, I am just lost for words, you guys. Now I'm just starting to ramble. You could lie. Voila. There is the tray. So now I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint and the ivory, and I'm just going to take these little three clay pots that I bought from the Dollar Tree. They come in a three pack, and I am just going to paint all three of them in this beautiful chalk paint. And I was really surprised, but this chalk paint dried so fast on these, I didn't even have to wait. And that was like the most exciting part of this entire thing is that I did not have to wait for nothing to dry, and it just made my day so happy. You so much time. You could hurt, but hurting's never gonna make it fine. So I knew I wanted to have succulents in this little tray because, well, that's just me for you. So I'm just gonna um, hot glue twine around this, and this is not like the most extravagant, like looking beautiful color of a pot. Like, why did they come up with this like poop brown color? I don't know. But I'm just going to try to cover it as best as I could. And in the end, you'll see I did not cover it that great. I was pretty unhappy with this project. So probably in the end, and when this is all done, I will probably just rip the succulent out of this and just call it a loss, I guess. You could so yeah, so I definitely was just winging everything as far as decorating. But I took these little clay pots, and yeah, I didn't paint the inside that beautifully. But you know what? You're not even going to see it anyways. But I just put some river rocks in there. I also bought from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, this is a whole entire Dollar Tree video. And then I just decided to put these little purple flowers in there. I had some leftover from the last craft I did. I think it was the 
thrifting centerpiece and I thought why not just add some of this together and I love this color I don't know what it is with me in this purple I'm normally not a purple person but I am seriously obsessed with these and I love the little white that is mixed together and then on to the next thing I have these fern leaves and I don't know what I'm doing here you guys I have no idea and I know fern leaves are kind of like, I don't know, they're kind of ugly, really. They're kind of pretty, but they're kind of ugly. But I'm just placing them there just to give it a little green. And then I'm going to cover it so you're not going to notice I just like laid them flat and boring and didn't like even sort of. I don't know what I was doing here, but this is me about at the point where I am hating the succulent more than ever because these cute little white ivory-ish clay pots just like trump everything that I made in this whole entire video but uh yeah and so I just decided to add that welcome to our home sign and it is so stinking cute and that also came from the Dollar Tree obviously like let me just tell you how many things came from the Dollar Tree because I've already told you a billion times that all my stuff came from there but yeah so I'm just adding a bunch of little things I just had laying around the house and I'm sorry I hate to say it you guys but I know a lot of people really liked my Mother's Day wreath, but I hated it, so I ripped all the pictures out of it and decided to use one of them for this. And so yeah, so my succulent may not look as good with this, but overall I am actually super happy with it. Even the little fern leaves are just laying on the bottom. <laughs> That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you liked my version of the 3TS stand. And the best part about this is that I only use Dollar Tree items and they are all from the last month or so that I have bought everything. But hopefully if you like everything you'll be able to find it. Um, some of my decor I don't think matched as good as what I thought it was but I kind of kept messing around with it. But So yeah I might have to go back out there grab some other things because just you know the trays aren't as tall as what I thought. I really wanted to use other things but it didn't work and whatever you just have to play around with it make it your own I absolutely love it like it's not probably as sturdy as like if you use a cake pan or a cake stand very very flimsy but if you don't move it with everything on it because I lifted it up and like moved it from a desk to like where I put it now and I was like hoping it would just not collapse like that's how flimsy it is but anyways, if you're on a budget and you want something super cute that looks like you bought it from a store, like definitely, definitely check this out. It was, what, five bucks to make. So you got two candlesticks, no, four bucks to make. You have two candlesticks and then you have the um, package of tray or stovetop covers that comes in and then the little candle plate. So I bought two because I thought I was gonna need the two stove tops. I wanted to do the two big ones, but it looked really stupid. So I didn't even use that one. So that's why I ended up using the candle plate. So if you want to know like where I even came up with that, like it came out of nowhere because it's going to make its own thing. Didn't maybe in a different video. I don't know. But um, anyways, that's it for my video. Now I'm going to go probably take my makeup off because my eyes still kind of are bothering me and um, ice my eyes because what else do you do on your spare time besides lay on the couch and ice your eyes? I don't know, but that's, that is, uh, that's my plans for the day. To Anyways, that is it. So if you like videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And this was super simple and easy and I didn't even mess it up. Not even the spray painting part. I swear I can't spray paint to save my life. And the day I did it, it was no, it wasn't windy out. It was so nice out and it was like perfect, perfect weather. So I even did that right, which is so exciting. So yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love you to subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.